यू आर लिविंग मी आई एम योर बॉय फ्रेंड आई एम सॉरी बस प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मी टू बट यू डोंट हैव टू ब्रेक थिंग्स बिटवीन अस वी कैन वर्क इट आउट दैट्स इम्पॉसिबल को इज हार्ट लंच एज यू बैप इज डेट्स सो यू हैव मेड योर डिसीजन आई डोंट हैव एन चेस आई एम सॉरी Junko ground waking up from his sleep he massaged his forehead with his hand grabbing the phone he checked for any new messages but there was not he walked to the bathroom brushed his teeth and then made his way to the wardrobe to find something to wear Junko hummed a random song and he made his way to the kitchen and opened his refrigerator that was almost empty except for a carton of milk and some expired leftovers <laughs> That's a great morning to start with a practically empty fridge with like my mind and stomach he rolled his eyes slamming the fridge door and move out of the apartment he stood next door and rang the bell he waited and waited until the door of the open and his neighbor showed up hi you again i know you must be waiting for me so i came here immediately i was not waiting for you should i paste a sign hungry neighbors are not allowed in this apartment go scoop as he pushed the door open and made his way inside the apartment hey why don't you go and buy your own groceries first of all i'm buying groceries and i can't even cook then i should start taking a text from you for emptying my one grocery in just a week i don't eat that much on you practically do steal everything from my apartment You are now accusing me of stealing things. Yeah, I just tell you the truth. Jungo stood up from the chair, wiping his fake tears. I'm leaving. I can't take this much salt with an empty stomach. He said, grabbing two bananas and one apple and moved and made his way out to the door. Leave my precious fruit alone. I will pay for it later. He said as he threw the banana peel behind. But when he looked back, it was on Yoon's head. Oh, you got nice cap there. He winked at her as he spoke with his mouth full, and he knew Yoon was going to explode any minute. Junko, Junko quickly gulped the banana down his throat and grabbed the door handle. When Yoon reached towards him, he turned around and, without thinking twice, he leaned forward and kissed her forehead, making her mind go blank. He tried to process what happened, and then Junko muttered, "I'm sorry," before running out of the apartment. He was trying to process what just happened, and Jungkook never done something like that before. Jungkook and Yoon are neighbor for six months now. They both work in the same place, and Yoon shared here she had a problem finding house, and Jungkook had to getting an apartment. He didn't plan to buy the same place as his, but it was better place where he lived and close to the workplace. Jungkook is the owner of the restaurant, and Yoon work under him. Jungkook, can you help me here? Jungkook looked up from the paper he was reading and walked over to where Yoon was standing. What happened? We have last minute reservation for our largest group and some of our staff called in sick. I need some extra hands to help with the preparations. Can I help you on something? Jungkook, you don't know anything about making food. I wonder how you become owner of the restaurant even. She said playfully but Jungkook stood serious in front of her while the all the chef were looking. That's how you talk to the owner. You know I can fire you right now. He raised his voice and Yoon's smile fell. The atmosphere of the restaurant seemed to freeze. Jungkook never raised his voice at anyone. Sir, I didn't mean to before Yoon could finish her sentence. Jungkook pressed his lips together tightly trying to suppress his laughter. He could see the panic in Yoon's eyes. Jungkook seriously. Gee, I'm sorry. You should have seen your face. I thought you were actually serious. Nah, you all working so hard, all the stuff. So I was just playing with you all. All the staff collectively sighed in relief as they never saw him getting angry on anyone. For a while, let's go back to work. We have customers waiting for their meals. All the staff nodded and Junko looked back at him. What were you asking me before? Well, mean, well, we need to so extra tables and make sure the seating arrangement are perfect for the large group. Sure, let me check the schedule and see who is available. Yun gave a small smile as she got back to work, and Jungkook walked to the table. Even if, it, even if he is the owner, he never make anyone proud that they are breaking under him. And make environment friendly. Maybe that's why everyone like him. And this will be the last order. We have a busy 
day jango walked over to you and asked for a satisfied expression on his face it it was closing time you look at him and a serious smile form on his face you are the owner you don't need to sit down like this you should be doing other things like counting profits or making plan for the future uh, but what's the point of being the owner if i can't take a break jango smiled there's when josh one of the one of the chef rushed inside what happened boss i think you should come outside there are some people causing a fuss was about what they are claiming that the reservation was cancelled without their knowledge and they are demanding to speak to the owner i'll handle it show me where they are Turn around towards Jango. There were a group of young two boys and three girls. Well, then you should know how to run a business properly. This is unacceptable. Calm down, Jango. Jango was shifted to the person who called his name. Standing there was a familiar face. They stirred up memories. He said, "Try to bury it deep inside within his heart." He said softly, not believing his eyes, that after he sees in front of him again, "Let's try to use Jango." Hey, do you know each other? We're still waiting for an explanation. I apologize for any inconvenience again. Let me handle this matter. We are sorry. There is a technical glitch that led to cancellation of your reservation. Technical glitch you ruined our plans. She yelled, but they all remained calm. Guys, calm down. I think they will find a solution. Now we are not staying here any minute. Give us back our money so we can leave. He yelled at them again. Sometimes these people forget that the one working and serving them are also humans, and everyone makes mistakes. Yes, some of them look down and consider them as their servant. Yin clenched her fists and was about to speak again when Jango cut her off. Give them their money back. Yin nodded and walked back from there. After some time, they completed the refund process. Finally, this is the worst service I have ever experienced. They said I must start to walk away. Yin clenched her jaw. What the hell they think of themselves? It's okay, but next time be careful. Double check everything in case. We did our best to handle the situation professionally. Not much. She is not much experienced in this kind of behavior and strength. But Jungko keeps spending every kind of behavior. He was first aggressive too, but as the five as the time passed, he nods good for his image as the owner. All of them bored and left inside with Jungko Park inside his unit behind him. But it's frustrating when people treat us like we are beneath them. Some people just like basic respect and empathy, but as a restaurant owner, it's important for us to maintain our professionalism. Jungko. Jung turned around as she called him again. Yeah. Long time no see. How are you? I'm good. I apologize for my friend behavior. No worries, Sarah. It's not your fault. Well, I need to go. Wait, can you give me your number so we can meet again? Jung hesitated for a moment, but noted as he gave her his number, and saying she will call him, she walked away. And step out of the bathroom. Her hair still damp from the shower. She was in her comfortable pajamas. She made her way to the balcony. Her eyebrow furrowed slightly as she was not used to seeing him smoke. Since when did you start smoking? Jungkook turned to look at her slightly startled that she had noticed him. Oh hey, um, I didn't mean to disturb you. You didn't answer my question. Is everything okay? I'm just smoking after much. I quit it. Oh, so you are smoking now? Nothing. You you don't have to worry. Just think about work. Just thinking about work. I know you never start so much about work. Is there something else? He kept quiet, so you didn't push him. Hey, do you want to watch a movie together? Um, isn't it too late and we have to go work early? It's Sunday tomorrow and you can go to sleep. I'm going to watch a movie anyway. Jump to look at the inside. Wait, come to my apartment. I have bigger screen than yours. Wait, really? Are you finally inviting me to your apartment? Well, yeah. Why are you excited? Never mind. Then blushed slightly and Jungkook shook his head, throwing his cigarette away. He turned around to he turned around to look back into his apartment, but his eyes widened when he saw Yoon attempting to climb onto his balcony for hers. 
hey, when I said come to my apartment, I didn't mean for you to climb from there. I don't like to waste my energy. Ever heard of taking shortcuts? Do you want to die early? Come on, give me your hand. She put her foot on the balcony railing and reached out her hand towards him. Jungkook hesitated for a moment but eventually gave in, taking her hand firmly. Don't worry, I've got this. With a tight grip on her hand, when Yun put her foot on the second foot on the railing, Jungkook carefully wrapped his hand around her waist, effortlessly lifting her from the ground. Bodies were closed and Yun breathed at the sudden closeness. They gazed off and the time seemed to stand still as they both took in each other's features. But she saw something flickered in Jungkook's eyes and his eyes widened. He gently placed Yun back. His hand is still resting on her face. Both of them went silent. Are you okay? Yeah, and then let's go inside. Then simply walked behind him inside the apartment. There was a sudden change in the atmosphere, but then they tried not to make things awkward. As you came here to distract Jungle for whatever is bothering him, isn't it what neighbors do take care of each other? Jungle walked to the kitchen and returned with a bag of snacks he had bought for the grocery store earlier, and you took and you take charts, letting a movie on the TV. What movie do you want to watch? And anything you want is fine with me. I may pass out watching a movie. I'm sleepy. You should have told me before. I wouldn't have come. No worries. It's not like we watch movie every day. Side. I think I may need a. I might need a distraction. Are you sure you are okay? Was he okay? He don't know. Meeting her childhood best friend and her ex too. He was not quite sure about. What he should feel. The memories of four years ago resurfaced when she left him apart by study. She broke up with him because she couldn't handle a long distance relationship. He didn't expect her to see ever again. Honestly, but she looked so different today when he talked to her. The memories he shared from childhood, everything was messing up his mind. Jungkook simply nodded and he looked at the screen. They were watching a comedy movie. Though Jungkook was not in the mood to watch any movie, he didn't know why he was even willing to sacrifice his sleep for meaningless. Movie, yet it was Yun. He was it, so he didn't mind. When the movie was over, they both passed out on the floor, blaming the movie for being a scam in the name of comedy. They got the towel on them. What a boring story, dude. The next morning, Jungle slowly woke up, his eyes widening as he realized their position. They ended up entangled with each other on the floor. He couldn't help but smile at the sight. Her sleeping face, he realized, whenever he's feeling down, she's always there for him. Knowing annoyingly, she made him smile. Maybe he's thinking like this, but he noticed from the past when she has always cheered him up. He carefully moved Yun's hand and legs away from him and groaned as he felt the pain in his back from sleeping on the floor. Wait, just don't go just yet. Why don't you make breakfast here in my apartment? You finally brought groceries. Yeah, but you are going to make me breakfast anyway. Am I your servant? No, but according to the book of neighbors right on page number 69, it's clearly written with big letters that neighbors should take care of each other. And one of them doesn't know how to cook, you have to tell to ask for it from your neighbor. Well, I've never heard any book like that before. Just because you have not heard of it doesn't mean it don't exist. You chuckled as they began to prepare for it first. After they were done, you decided to head back to her apartment. I'm going to my apartment. She yelled back from the door and Jungkook yelled back okay from his room. When you opened the door, but was surprised to find the girl of the restaurant standing there. Oh hi, is this Jungkook apartment? Yeah, it is. Who are you? I'm Sarah, Jungkook restaurant. Oh, I see. Yun then raised her voice slightly to call Jungkook. Jungkook, someone here to meet you. Who is it? Jungkook asked as he came out of this room, but, but stopped when he saw Sarah smiled to him and waving her hand, and Yun simply left the apartment. Who was she? She heard her asking from Jungkook when she walked to her apartment, but then her mind was wondering she had always known that Jungkook had other friend. He had never really mentioned Sarah. Before Yun tried to shake off her thoughts, telling herself not to overthink.
you are leaving early again today yeah i have some work to take care of mom and then i'm meeting sara her parents invited me over for dinner it's been long since i've met uncle and auntie oh that's nice have a good time as you go walk away and going her but feel a pang of jealousy seeing sara waiting for him she took a deep breath money got sell that she had no right to feel the way as the day passed and found herself becoming more distant from jungko she didn't want to be third wheel or make things awkward for him and sara there was no time when she caught sara angrily walking at her and she couldn't help but understand why so she kept her interaction with him limited to work related matters but it was not easy there were times when she wanted to talk to him about everything and to ask him how he truly felt and to share her own feelings that she had felt because there is no use of it as usual Yusun was working in the restaurant she can felt someone gaze on her but she tried to pay attention to her work there were lots of other arrangements to see but she was not feeling well today you know you feeling all right you don't look well you look at him surprised at his sudden appearance but then started doing the work she's Forced a smile. Oh, I'm okay. It's just a little headache. I'll be fine. Then you can go home, take a rest. No, it's fine. She tried to move away, but Jungko stopped her, holding her hand. Is there something bothering you? Are you just ignoring me? I'm not. I'm fine, Jungko. Can you leave my hand? We are at work. But she didn't behave like that before. He leaves her hand, and she walked away from there. Jungko was sitting on the sofa. Sara was continuously speaking to him, but his mind was not there. He couldn't shake off the thought of Yun and how she had been acting. Then Sara continued to speak. He found it hard to focus on the words. He sighed and stood up, walking to the balcony. His gaze fell on Yun's open window. He couldn't see her inside, and a sense of disappointment washed over him. Suddenly, Sara hugged him from behind, and he stirred in his position. "What are you doing? Please love me back." Jungko clenched his fist and tried to remove her hand, but she tightened her grip. It's not possible now, Sara. I told you why I keep trying. Because I regret breaking up with you. But that time I had no choice. Past is past, but you know that's not possible. I have moved on. But Jungkook, we had something special. Don't you remember all the time we shared? Jungkook closed his eyes. Memories of their past flooding in his mind. He did cherish their time together, but those feelings changed. I didn't remember, and those memories will always be special to me. But people change, and so do their feelings. I can't force myself to feel something I don't anymore. Please give me a chance, my date. You are with me everywhere. It's mentally disturbing. It's been two weeks. It's I can't focus on anything when you are constantly trying to be around me. I just want my old junk back. I miss the way we used to be. I'm still the same person, but my feelings have changed. You were my best friend, and that's why I tried to be patient. But you need to realize that you left me. I don't leave you, but now it's time for you to move on to. I'm sorry, Jungkook. I didn't know you were hurting because of me. Will you be happy if I leave you? We can still be friends, but we can't be lovers. I love someone else, and you should move on to. But I still love you. Can we give it a try? I care about you, but my heart belongs to someone else now. I don't want to leave you or give you false hope. Sara wiped her tears and nodded her head. I'm sorry, I'm being selfish. You deserve to be happy. You will find someone too who will love you genuinely. She nodded and hugged him again. Jungkook sighed, giving her friendly hug. He's feeling light now. He sighed and his gaze falling again on Yeon's window.